Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Short is Better. Today I'm gonna show you how I make this mod. And before I even start, I want to warn you, please don't make it at home. It's not a joke, It's <laughs> this mod is a big headache. Uh, I finally, I completed first one, now I'm gonna do the second one, so it's gonna be much easier for me. Uh, a bit later you'll realize why it's so complicated, especially this one. Okay, so let's get started. We have here an H36 movement, 3.8 crown, but for this particular mod, it doesn't matter which one you get. You get 3 o'clock, 3.8, uh, 4.1, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna modify the date and the date window uh, wheels. Then we got here this beautiful dial. That's the whole point of this mod. And some monster hands. Also, we're gonna replace the bezel insert and for the base, we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna use Eddie's dive case. You understand also a little bit later why exactly this case. Okay, let's get started. And first of all, I wanna show you this moment I ordered from AliExpress, gonna leave you the link. I was very impressed with the packaging. You can see that the packaging here is awesome. And it just, it just great packaging and great price. Everything, I ordered four pieces and each of these worked perfectly and even don't need to adjust it much. It was plus three seconds a day. Very, very good. I'm gonna leave for you the link later. So, first of all, why this mod is tricky? The reason is this case is four o'clock. You can see that the crown location is exactly four o'clock. Not 4.1, not 3.8, not 3.9, it's, it's four, it's four o'clock. It means that even if, even if I, use the dial dots on this moment, which uh, I will do now. I already cut the, the fit here, we don't need it. Anyway, it doesn't match. So it means that if I put it like this, when the crown position is four o'clock, you can see that day and date windows, they don't align with this position. And it's, it's very uncomfortable, but <laughs> but I've got an order. I think I will not receive more order for this mod because it's, it's really complicated. So what do we have to do now? We have to, we have to swap these day and date wheels. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how do I remove the day wheel. If you look closer, there is a small thing that if you lift it up gently from every side, just like that, don't lose it, pay attention. And after this, you can just, you simply take this wheel out, just like that. Very easy. The next part is a little bit more difficult. You can see, you can see we have four screws here. One, two, three, four. You have to unscrew this four for taking the date wheel. One life hack. Uh, I've been struggling with this. I've been trying to find good screwdrivers, but they, I came to the conclusion they're all the same. The heck I found that you just have to sharpen it. Just get the, um, the sandpaper and sharpen it nicely. So then it's very, very easy to unscrew these small screws. Just easy, just super easy. Okay, finally. Get some small box so you don't lose the smallest parts here.
As you can see, if you are not careful, they will just jump somewhere and disappear. So yeah, be careful. And after this, you just lifting, lifting this part up. Be careful. There is also one this this gear that I I lost one already earlier. And after this, you can just take take the wheel out. Easy like that. Looks pretty cool, isn't it? I love mechanical watches. Very, very exciting. For the next part, we're gonna use Eddie's Dive Tuna. The reason why I use this tuna because the crown here is four o'clock and the date window is aligned. So means, uh, maybe I'm wrong, please correct me, but my guess is that Eddie's Dub using specific date wheel for this watch, which you cannot replace with 3 o'clock or 3.8 or 4.1 because this crown is 4 o'clock. That's why I'm gonna be replacing the date wheel from this watch to an H36 I just showed you. And then I have to put here something else, which I'm gonna use in some other modes. But yeah, it takes a bit of time, but for this mod, no choice, have to do it. I think I'm gonna skip this process, so basically just do the same thing, but this is an H35. Get the date wheel out and place it on the NH36 movement. They are the same, the same size, they should match. There you go, I got the date wheel out and now we can compare them. So let me place it for you like this. We can compare, um, let's call it the, the gears inside, from the inside part. You can see that this one is exactly between the numbers, but an H36 with 3.8 crown, this gear is on the top of each number. That's the difference when you buy different movements to match different crown position. That's the difference. I could also just glue the new one on the top, but uh, I'm not sure I can make it perfect. Even with the date wheel, it's also difficult to make it align perfectly. It takes a lot of time and precision. Uh, maybe I just need some special tools. So yeah, it's better to use this method I show you right now, if you're gonna if you're gonna attempt to do the same mod, at least you have an instruction now, it's easier for you. Okay, let's do the next part. Okay, so we're almost there. Now let's put our new date wheel. Just like that. There you go. Okay, one suggestion. First, don't don't tighten the screws yet. Try to go to date and the adjusting settings and just move it around. It's supposed to jump in the right position. Because sometimes I, I feel when I tighten it up right away it may be it may be not working properly maybe it just stuck somewhere something like here see i cannot move the moment then i go to adjusting the time there you go you can see it clicked in the right position and after this I go to adjust in the date and it works properly. Now I can tidy it up. Okay, now let's measure it one more time. We get our dial and put it on 4 o'clock round position. And as you see, the date is matching the window perfectly so what's left is the day uh, wheel we have to 
get it from this side use something sharp i'm gonna be using the same screwdriver because i sharpen it and basically just go around and gently try to It's on glue, there is not much glue, it's easy to take it out. Just be careful so you don't bend the wheel itself. Okay, done. Now, take a look at these tiny, tiny feet. Do you see them? We have to cut them and make sure that the surface of this gear is absolutely flat. Otherwise, we cannot glue it back. Unfortunately, I couldn't film it, but what I did, I used my first favorite tool the nail clippers to cut off the fit from this gear and the second one was this one so basically what you do you flatten the surface make sure it's absolutely smooth very carefully don't damage the gears itself it's pretty hard to damage even and then you can see it's absolutely flat and nice ready ready to be modified here you can see. Okay, the next part is the hardest because we have to glue it back and somehow manage perfect alignment. I was thinking a lot and trying a lot and I came to the conclusion that this is the best way. So first of all, you put the gear back on the moment. Then very carefully try to adjust the day. Okay friends, now we have the most difficult part. So that side where you cut the pins is gonna be the top. I was trying a lot before to find the best way to glue it back together and align it somehow. And this is the best option I found so far. So what I did, I put the gear back pull this little thing so the gear sits properly then try adjusting the day you can see it works properly okay so first of all I'm gonna put a tiny piece of dial dots I'll cut it I'm not sure you even can see it but tiny like this very 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 tiny Put it right here. And one more from another side. Honestly, I'm filming this now and thinking, 
who would ever try to do this? Okay, I remember it was three. Wish me luck. I even didn't breathe. That's not the end yet. I put the dial dots first just to secure this disc first before I apply the glue because I'm not gonna leave it only on dial dots. It's not, it's not safe, it's not stable. So just now, correct it one more time if it's still not perfect and then you can, you can apply the glue and squeeze it one more time to make sure it just stick completely. Yeah, and before, of course, before applying the glue, make sure it's aligned perfectly. In my case, I think maybe that's already the skill from the first time Maybe it's the luck, but seems to be perfect. <laughs> what do you think? I think I managed. I managed to put it together. Yep, so right now I'm gonna put the glue. Don't forget to secure the day wheel with this thing. Just put it on the top and press gently. Done. Now it's locked. You can see a little bit of glue on the top of these four holes. Not much, you didn't need to put much. You're never gonna touch this part anyway. It's gonna be very safe not gonna go anywhere. Now, before I put the dial, before I use the, uh, the dots, the dial dots, I'm gonna make sure it's straight. I want to make sure this looks beautiful as I imagine in my head. Yep, I think I did it. I did it pretty well. Nice. So right now, finally, finally the best part is gonna be applying the dial and the hands. Now I'll cut the remaining of the dial dots, just like that. I don't know if it's really necessary, but it just looks it just looks better. Just like that. Finally, let's put the dial. And before that, by the way, don't forget to clean. Okay, looking good. Take a look from this side. And the day date window seems to be seems to be perfectly centered. Yep. I'm very happy with this result. And just recently just recently I started to apply a little bit of glue on the side exactly where where I put 
the dial dots here. Just want to make sure it's secured and it won't move anywhere. You may say, but Alex, what if I want to modify this watch again later? Don't worry, you're not gonna put the glue all around the dial. You're just putting on those four spots where you placed the dial dots. It makes it, it makes it stronger, but not completely indestructible. Yep. Yeah. And one more time, please don't try to do it at home. You don't even need to put it from all four sides, just two points enough. It's already on the dial dots plus two points on the super glue. I think this is this is very 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 safe. Okay, so the best part now. Go 24 hours until the date will be changed, go slowly. Just like that. Okay, let's place the first hand. Let's test it the first time. Perfect. We're gonna keep this result. The first one is ready. Check the alignment. Nice. Now it's time for the minute hand. Quick reminder, you have to use different hand pressers for every hand because there is a different diameter. Okay, let's check. And again, perfect. Nine o'clock. Perfect. Yep, that's it. Let's see when the date will be changed. Wow, this is incredible result. Okay. Okay, try to guess. How long it's gonna take me to put the second hand? Make a bet. Done. Done. Finished. Yeah, I think these hours spent modding watches now paying off. I can do it faster and more efficient. And of course, you have to get the good set of hands to make the life a little bit easier. Beautiful. Take a look at this alignment. Very nice. Okay, friends, so basically we are done. Um, before you put it back in the case, make sure it's clean, of course the dial and the case together and then we're gonna regulate the balance wheel here I think I'm gonna make a video soon how to do it because it's pretty easy lots of people still struggling with it and here is the final result my friends turned out to be absolutely beautiful yeah quickly about the specs of this mode 
47 mm case diameter, 14 mm thickness, sapphire glass and you can see clearly blue AR coating, very beautiful glass. And H36 movement with modified day and date wheels, uh, what else? The waterproof of course, I didn't test right now but originally this case holds to 300 meters waterproof based on Eddie's dive still have the crown 22 millimeters case so yeah thank you again for watching i don't really know that this video is going to be useful for somebody or not because this is really really specific mode and again if you try to attempt it just just follow the instruction and good luck to you you can do it just takes a lot of time yeah, thanks again for watching, thank you for your support and see you in the next episode.